So I was finishing my PhD uh, on a, an obscure system, uh, strange parasites in, in a short grab that had no economic importance. And I said to myself, who cares about this? And because it, my th ideas were about this bizarre parasitic castration concept, uh, I immediately said, well, it must be trematodes, not the weird things I was working with, because trematodes and snails are all parasitic castrators. I knew that. And that immediately said, it's schistosomes. And that immediately said to me, and this was like 20 or 30 minutes of thought as I'm looking at finishing and going to the next stage. I said, I have some ideas that could develop a, a biological control approach to this major human tropical disease. So I applied for an NIH postdoctoral fellowship based on these ideas. I got it. I went off to UC Med Center with Don Heinemann and Lee Kian Yu and J. Ralph Audi, essentially to uh, go from an ecological, my ecological background, I'm a marine ecologist really at that point, uh, to uh, learn a lot more about actual parasites that people care about. Uh, and uh, also sort of to speak medical ease, to just be in uh, UC San Francisco in a medical center and listen to how people talked and interacted when they actually cared about their subjects as, as opposed to the crabs that I was working on. And so uh, uh, with that, uh, with the work I did, that actually was the seminars that got me my job at North Carolina and then at UC Santa Barbara. And as I said, once I did that, I actually intellectually drifted around. Uh, but uh, uh, starting uh, in the late uh, 1980s, and uh, with uh, Kevin Lafferty and I beginning to collaborate, uh, there was a, a refocusing uh, on uh, uh, parasite uh, ecology. And uh, somewhere around, uh, well, in the mid-1990s, uh, uh, our lab had developed a mission statement, and uh, the mission statement is we are uh, attempting, uh, our work is to reveal the role of infectious processes in ecosystems, and that has been our strong focus uh, for the last 20 years. We, I think I was always, I would say, intellectually aggressive and uh, in this collaboration with Kevin Lafferty, who is at least as intellectually aggressive as I am, we just decided to go for the biggest thing that we felt we could manage, and that was an important issue and that we were ahead of the curve on. So, ambition, in a sense. And, and, and also a means to keep focus. By saying that, it feeds back on me and I continue to believe it. We've certainly made progress, and uh, here in the context of the parasitology uh, meeting, uh, I, way back when I was young, and I came from an ecology background, I felt that uh, what parasitology needed was more ecology. I was here to add ecology to parasitology. And uh, then somewhere around uh, 15, 20 years ago, I realized that Although parasitology is a relatively small field compared to ecology, I mean, their, their annual meeting is 10 times the size of this thing, uh, that actually parasitology was the more intellectually complete field and ecology was missing a huge segment of what they needed to deal with. Ecology deals with uh, processes like competition, predation, resources, disturbances, these kinds of things at the various levels of physiological ecology, population, community, ecosystem uh, ecology. And you look in the text and infectious processes are a couple of chapters that are actually boxes, the use of ecology to look at schistosomiasis, let's say. And uh, what they're missing, and I, I began to believe quite seriously, was there was no, no take in the field of ecology that 
infectious processes were at least as substantial as any of those other things I mentioned, competition, predation, and needed to be put into almost every study. And I don't mean everybody has to become a paras an ecological parasitologist. I mean, you have to do the things you would do on any other thing you consider important. Control for it, fold it into your study, or explain why you didn't have to worry about it. That's every paper in ecology, essentially, talking about, let's say, competition. Either they deal with it that way. I, I mentioned to ecologists that uh, if I was the editor of ecology, I'd reject almost every paper they publish because they have not explicitly considered in the role of infectious processes. And I tell every one of my grad students, read these papers, reread the classics, and just keep in mind, what about the parasites? You'll get ideas. I, I personally think it's very substantial because the parasites, the, the traditional parasites, are players at essentially every level for essentially all species and most notably humans. I mean, if you were to do biomass of parasites, it's the biomass of human parasites that are, are the biggest component. Uh, so, uh, uh, and, and this, this society is the, this is the group of people with the expertise to uh, to enable anybody to do things. People here can do it themselves, but uh, teaming with ecologists, physiologists, uh, uh, evolutionary biologists, uh, there's to me a very, very big future for this area of research. Mm -hmm.